can I ask you like an awkward-ish question? Um, does your church steal? And yeah, what I mean by that is actually thievery, like taking something that doesn't belong to you and calling it yours. And okay, I know what you're, I know what you're thinking. You're like, Sam, aren't you, aren't you talking to churches? Uh, obviously we're not gonna steal, you know, thou shalt not steal, right? I totally get it. I totally am in agreement with you, but here's what I don't understand. Why is it that so many churches think it's okay for them to use copyrighted music? Because here's the thing that blows my mind. It's not even just music. If we want to post to social media, for some reason we think it's okay to Google some picture and then we post it on social media and call it ours. Well, that is stealing, but that's a conversation for another day. Today, we're talking about how to get royalty-free and legal music for your videos. What's up, folks? I'm Sam DeZeo, and this is SmartDesign.Church, where here on this channel, we focus on using the power of video to reach people for the powerful name of Jesus. So if you are a church and you are creating video content or even graphics, go ahead and subscribe because we have a new video out every single week. So the reason we're talking about this today is because music is such an important part of what we do as video creators. It's such an integral part because it really sets the emotion for what's going on in the scene. And I actually talked a little bit about this in my last video, and you, I'll link that up in the card. But the thing is, we don't want this really important piece to be the reason that it was taken offline because we worked so hard on these videos. The last thing we want is to get busted and have to take all these videos down, or even worse, get sued for having this music in our video. Now, if you're anything like me, five, six years ago, you might be thinking, well, Sam, I'm using like Hillsong music. Hillsong Church is not going to sue me. That's just not gonna happen, it's a church. Yeah, Hillsong might not. However, the uh, publishing company and the record company might not be so generous. So what do we do? Royalty-free music and paying licensing for music can be super expensive. And if you want that super popular, like top 40 song, it's gonna be tens of thousands of dollars to make that happen. There's also even sites like uh, premiumbeat.com, which I used for a long time, where they sell really high quality music, but it's like 30 or 40 bucks a pop. And that just gets really expensive really fast. But then I came across a website. It's called Soundstripe. And this is actually what my church uses. And if you wanna check out Soundstripe, those links are down in the description below. But let's actually check out Soundstripe. I have my laptop here, let's do this. First of all, can I just say I love the clean look of Soundstripe. I mean, it's just very pleasing to the eye, if nothing else. So let's say we're looking for a song. Um, we have a bunch of different playlists here. Um, I think we're actually, yeah, we're on the playlist page right now. And we can go through those. Like if you're looking for a holiday track, that's a good place to start. But um, say we're not exactly sure what playlist it's going to be in. Let's go into songs. So we can sort this by mood, genre, pace, instruments that you want to hear. I mean, you have so much creativity and flexibility in this. So let's go to mood. So we're thinking about our piece, and we're like, okay, what's the, what's the feel that I'm trying to portray here? So uh, let's pick some of these moods. So we want to do, like, inspiring. So we'll click that. Uh, yet um, building, we want it to build. And you know what, let's say, let's make it uh, romantic. So it's an inspiring, romantic song that builds. And that actually brought us to the four section or the four songs that have those three categories. So let's listen to some of these. Loving it. So as you can see, you can sort by mood, but we can also sort by just the pace of a song. So let's take out some of these. Let's take out building and romantic and just have inspiring and say we want this to be a fast paced song. So obviously we got pace, we got instruments, we got a whole lot of different options here on Soundstripe. So one thing I also wanna show you is they actually just recently added what I love is sound effects. Sound effects are going to be a game changer for what you are doing in your videos because they amp up everything that you do. They make it just feel like you are there, like the viewer is there with you because we can hear everything. And that's what I was talking about. Like sound is such an important part of our videos and sound effects just takes it to the next level. 
So let's jump into like, uh, let's do cinematic sound effects. Um, and we can pick one of these. Let's do like a reverse hit and do short wind. Real short. All right, let's jump into stingers, see what that sounds like. So you have all of this, the music, the sound effects, all the controls to find that music, all of that is at your disposal. Music is something that will make or break your videos, but that's only one element that will make or break your videos. If you want to take boring footage or your boring videos and make them interesting, I actually put together a video for you where I give you three tips on how to transform your boring stuff into something people actually want to watch. So if you wanna watch that video, click right here. And real quick, I wanna say thank you to all the patrons out there who are supporting this channel. You make it possible for me to do this and help churches and spread the name of Jesus. So I just wanna say thank you. And we will see you in the next one.